everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now as it's been a few months since I last uploaded on this channel, I thought it would be a good idea to reintroduce you all to my Saab 93 convertible and the car has changed a lot since the last time you saw it. So let's first start off with these honeycomb grills. What I wanted originally was the Hirsch honeycomb grills but due to their rarity they are very very expensive. If you launch some of those honeycomb grills from Hirsch, you're looking at about 560 quid just due to their absolute rarity. Now I found these honeycomb grills on Facebook Marketplace for 60 quid, which I thought was a really, really good deal. They look awesome, but the paint on them really wasn't that great. They were stone chipped and a bit scratched and dull. So I sent these grills off to get resprayed by a local uh, paint shop, and that cost me 200 pounds in paint. So altogether, 260 quid. I really like how this upgrades the car, it makes the front look really, really good, and it makes it look a lot more modern as well. So next up on the exterior was a private registration plate. Now I wanted a plate that showed off what the car was, and this plate really works perfectly. Total price for this was 250 quid. So when I got a private registration, I also decided to get myself a set of 4D plates. No, I really like how these look, and they were only 40 quid, so not too expensive Next either. were these Heller yellow supertone horns. Now, I really like the look of these, and I might need to get some new ones as they are starting to rust, but they still work, so for now, I'm going to leave them as they are. I actually don't know what the proper cost of these were, as I was giving them as a gift. Another modification I did was a 5% tint sunstrip on the front of the car. This was also done at the same time as my tinted side windows and my tinted rear windows. Cost of that in full was about £120. Next up were these carbon fibre side mirrors. Now these aren't full carbon, these are a carbon skin. So it's plastic underneath with the carbon overlay on top and then a lacquer on top of that. When I saw these I absolutely had to have these. Price of these were about £110. Next up are the Koenig Ampliform 18 by 85 wheels I had fitted to this car about a year ago now. These are an absolutely stunning wheel. Really, really suit the car, really worth for the car. They are also wrapped in the Michelin PS4 tyres in a 225-40 R18. I could go a little bit wider, which I probably will with my next set of tyres. I really like the look of these wheels. I think they just look absolutely stunning especially in this dark graphite colour. I got these wheels as part of a wheel and tyre package from Wheelbase Alloys up in uh, Manchester. These cost me about 1600 quid which is actually a really good deal I think for these wheels especially with these absolutely awesome. Next tires. up are the Max and Designs side skirt or side splitter whatever you want to call it. These give a really really good look these are finished in the carbon look effect, cost about £180. Next up are the Saab Planting Moose stickers. Again, not a very expensive, about eight quid for both. Now for lowering, I have the iBack Pro Kit for the Saab 93 Estate, but it also works on the Saab 93 convertible that I've got. Gives the car a really, really nice stance. Before it was, you could almost live in the arch gap I had before. Now it just looks absolutely amazing, especially with the Koenig Ampler forms that I have fitted. Price for those were about £180, so again, not very expensive. The Pro Kit also lets you use the Saab stock damper. When the damper decides to let go, I'll probably upgrade it to the Bilstein BA. painted 314mm brakes that come with the SCAR standard. Now they're just normally a metal look, but I have them painted in a yellow with a black detailing. For the kit fully, it was about 30 quid. They do need a bit of a touch up, but I would like to upgrade to a K Sport big brake kit in the future. So I'm hoping that will happen at some point soon. Again, gives the car a really, really good look. And I love the yellow along with the ice blue metallic. Gives it a really, really nice contrast. Next up, we have a 25mm spacer, which gives the car a really, really nice stance on the side. As you can see, almost perfect, really. Really, really nice upgrade. And again, pretty cheap at about £50. Next up on the rear is the Max & Designs rear diffuser in the same carbon look finish as the side skirts. Again, just a really, really nice, aggressive look. Price of this, £180. Next up, moving on to exhaust, I have had both rear boxes deleted with a 3-inch tip in their place. This gives a really, really nice V6 tone. If you want to hear that tone, there is my previous video which gives you a nice sound clip of how it sounds. Price of that altogether was £300 from Caltech Performance in Leeds. 
Now you've seen what's happened to the exterior, let's move on to the interior. On the interior, it's pretty stock. I like the kind of stock look inside. But what I really like is these embroidered hairdressers with the Saab Griffin logo stitched into them. Looking at these, about 40 quid. Next up, we have a Kenwood DMX8019 DABS wireless Apple CarPlay head unit. Now, I love this head stereo for a few reasons. Number one, everything is wireless over Bluetooth, which makes it just a lot more convenient getting in and just going. Also does Apple CarPlay, so you get your maps, your music, phone calls, all the nice Apple CarPlay features in the car from 2008. With the rear camera installed and installation, you're looking about 900. Okay, finally, let's move on to the engine bay. So the only thing really done in the engine bay is my D088 full intake. Now this is a really, really good intake and it is gonna help me in my uh, stage one modifications. This car is going stage one, hopefully at some point soon. As you can see, it is from the turbo completely replaces the standard system. This was about 363 quid, which is expensive, but definitely worth the money. So the full cost of modifying my Saab 93 up to this point is £4,730. There we go. So full reintroduction to my Saab 93 convertible. And I'm hoping this is something that really restarts my YouTube channel as I enjoy making the videos and I did miss doing YouTube. Also on Instagram, the response to me starting the channel again was massively and overwhelmingly positive. So I'm hoping this video really restarts the channel. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one.